Is there a solution to the threat of a thermonuclear world war, which, if fought, will be the extinction of the human species? And that's a fact. We had Douglas MacArthur at the end of World War II, who commented on the folly of thermonuclear war. He said that no one can expect humanity to come victoriously out of thermonuclear war. But people didn't pay any attention, seriously, to the validity of the greatest scientific genius we had floating around on the planet, Douglas MacArthur, during that period and immediately afterward. Now we're sitting with thermonuclear war, not something as a threat, as MacArthur had warned, would be a threat. We now have the actuality of a threat which is bought by the people in the governments of the United States and elsewhere. Now, what's the issue here? What's the fight about? The essential fight is located in the power and greed of the oligarchical financial system. That's what it is. Wall Street. What's Wall Street? A bunch of thieves, of murderers and thieves. And people are in awe. Wall Street. Oh, you've got, to, you've got to pay that off. You've got to do this. You've got to accept that. Huh? That's what's told. And the, the, the sheepish people out there go, oh, oh, we don't like it, but we're going to have to eat it. We have to submit. You say, I've got to be practical. I've got a family to support. But they're not, families are not being well supported. As a matter of fact, the supporting factor in this thing is gone, going down at an accelerating speed. But what's the stop? They're all worried about the factors in the economy, the international economy, which are the driving forces for wars which are based on the issue of greed. How can Wall Street or similar kinds of places bail themselves out of the folly which they have created to themselves and are willing to kill everybody in the planet virtually? or set into wars which will do the job for them, instead of seeing the future. Because they've looked at the, they looked at the present, the Wall Street power. This is where the problem lies. There is, however, a very immediate solution. But people don't talk about the solution because they say, you've got to be practical. Wall Street needs the money. And if Wall Street doesn't get the money, they're going to kill everybody or eat them alive or whatever, something like that. Look at the whole history of the United States economy under the Bush family, beginning with Prescott Bush. And Prescott Bush was a Nazi. All the Bushes that I know of in the presidency are Nazis. So in any case, we've had a bunch of Bushes. Now, I had the privilege of leading a, an operation which I didn't do myself. It was an idea that I had uh, out of the 1970s. And so therefore some people who were leaders in the military staff from Douglas MacArthur's age, who were senior at that point, two of them came to me directly with some others and said, why don't you run the world? And I said, okay, after I got a little discussion with them. And so we set up a, a operation which was run under the President of the United States. And I, I and a famous scientist working in the uh, San Francisco area, he and I were the two leaders in brain trusts in forming what I did in particular. I had the Russian government of that time, the Soviet government of that time. I had an agreement which I had created is part of my package, in order to get the Russians to accept the idea of the SDI, the Strategic Defense Initiative. That was my function. That was my job. And I was working under the president. But I was doing it myself. And they, they were watching carefully. And as long as I didn't make any terrible mistakes, they would generally go along with what I did. And I was rather wild in terms of initiatives. In, the, in that period. So what happened is, 
they shot the president. But they didn't kill him. But they crippled him to the point that he had to go through a period of reconstruction, health reconstruction. In the meantime, what happened is the Bush family took that opportunity to bring the Bushes into power. And the Bushes ran most of the, that entire century during that period. And right after that, we had one exception, a president who actually outshot the Bushes. And so the president who took the place for two terms, actually while I was in, sitting in prison under the courtesy of the Bush family, I was doing a work with the president of that time, Bill, and I was running, among other things, an, a, an organization operation. I got out of prison, and so I was turned loose, still with all the penalties, and we, we got the job done most of the time. Then the British forces took over and got rid of everything, Bill Clinton including. Since Bill Clinton was out of office, there hasn't been a, an honest day in the presidency of the United States for a single hour. And the, the condition and mental state and the financial welfare of the people of the United States during these four terms, or virtually four terms now, of president has destroyed the United States under the direction of the British Empire and the Saudi Kingdom, which are the same thing. We've been fighting this thing for some time, inside the organization and outside. So we moved in October. So we took the Hamilton Road. We said, that's not Wall Street. That's Hamilton City. That's the foundation on which this nation is dependent. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're creating the future. Hamilton created the future when heroes who were around him had died out or were worn out. But the issue is now, why are we talking about World War III? Why are we talking about it here? There's no need for World War III. We're going to slam the oligarchy. We're going to take it away from them. How do we do that? We've given the solution, and we've given the solution for the question of the World War III. It's very simple. We don't have to bail out Wall Street. We don't have to submit. All we have to do is instead of complaining about Wall Street is persecuting you, you have to eliminate Wall Street. And you have to eliminate similar institutions. You've got to eliminate the Saudi Kingdom. You've got to eliminate other pestilences which are pestilences. You have to organize 